Now, a lot of you guys out there are cruiser guys. Some of you guys are sport bike guys out there. Honestly, I love them all. I love all the different motorcycles. But I'll be honest with you, the reason why I got this 2022 Yamaha MT-07 is because I got this as a cruiser for me, a cruiser slash sport bike. Obviously, I didn't get this bike to go super fast on, but I wanted to bump off the bottom, you know, bottom end grunt like cruisers have. But yet, you know, it's uh, it's lighter weight. It's inexpensive. You know, I paid nine thousand, but ninety-three hundred dollars out the door. Cruisers are a lot more expensive, especially to get the the performance like this bike has in a cruiser. It's a whole lot more money. You're probably paying like what twenty thousand dollars. You know, if you get a Ducati uh, X Diablo or something like that, that's like what twenty-seven thousand, brand new. That's where this is ninety-three hundred dollars. Instead of getting a cruiser, you may want to consider getting the MT-07. I'm going to tell you why in this video. Let's go for a ride. Subscribe today. What's up, man? Yeah. You right? Yeah, I want to learn. Fast go. Oh, this bike don't go that fast. This is more like my cruiser bike, you know, to mess around with. Oh, yeah. yeah. All right, man. Take care, man. I don't know what the hell that dude said. He, he just hollering at everybody. <laughs> That's what I love about downtown, man. <laughs> They got some character. <laughs> <What's that? laughs> Whatever you do out there, guys, make sure you're wearing the gear to stay safe out there on the streets, man. Because I tell you, I see so many guys out here that get killed, get hit by a car. They end up in a wheelchair um, or dead. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of times because they don't wear the gear, man. I'm telling you, especially an airbag vest and a helmet. I have links to all of my gear, which is awesome. Like this airbag vest to help keep you safe out there. My ultra lightweight carbon fiber helmet that comes with an automatic tent shield. My gauntlet gloves, Dionysia winter jacket, motor vlog camera, pants, boots, gloves. All my gear, I include links in the description and the comment section of this video. Just listen to this. It sounds better than Harley Davidson. This thing is so sick, man. It sounds, <laughs> it sounds so, so sick, man. But I'm telling you, I got this bike as a cruiser. Believe it or not, guys, this is my cruiser. <laughs> cruiser says slash sport bike. It's two in one. It's got the ergonomics like a cruiser with the, with the mid pegs and the upright seating position. It's got the sound like the Harley Davidson. Sounds awesome, man. <laughs> but it doesn't have the Harley Davidson price or the Ducati price or any of the most cruisers are a lot expensive except for the, the Japanese cruisers um, uh, you know those tend to be a less expensive um, but you're not going to get the performance oftentimes like this MT-07 here so I'm telling you I'm kicking my feet up like I got a Harley Davidson but I tell you there is so many more benefits to getting a bike like this MT-07 as your cruiser is so lightweight it's less cumbersome than a cruiser because cruisers tend to be really heavy and the lighter cruisers lightweight cruisers they don't have no power to them Harley okay off the line oh shit oh man it's just so weak definitely got to use all the gears on this bike guys tons of vibration braking and power is just uh it's just not up to par they don't have the, the torque and bump and power like this bike has um, also the suspension on cruisers tend to be a subpar so you're going to get a little bit better suspension even though this doesn't have premium suspension it's adequate for out here on the streets it's great man i'm 170 pounds and it's perfect soaks up the bumps it's perfect for the streets out here it's got the mid pegs like you want you know i know the cruisers a lot of them have the forward feet controls um some of you may like that and some of you don't i personally did not like it on the ducati x diablo having the forward feet pegs um, it makes you feel too vulnerable like it doesn't keep you at attention or something i don't know man i like to be on point with the mid pegs like i feel in control i don't feel in control with the feet forward pegs and um like i said for just cruising out here in the hood we out here downtown cleveland you know, chilling at these speeds. Hit that throttle. You get that. Woo! You get that bottom end grunt. Listen to that sound, baby. Sounds so awesome, man. Sounds rich. I'm sitting up here comfortable. You know, just like I'm up on a cruiser. It's low. Um, 
yes it's not going to have the presence like a cruiser you know that's why a lot of people get them is for looks which i think this is a good looking bike but people that the cruiser crowd they want something more of the classic cruiser look you know what i'm saying that's why some people don't like the ducati x diablo is because it has more of the uh you know it doesn't have that traditional like harley davidson look to it you know they like that sportster look or the bagger look and uh it doesn't have that you know what i'm saying once you throw a leg over the bike you're out here in your comfortable riding position got that awesome soundtrack you got that bottom end grunt like the the cruisers and um you can't end the low price tag reliable you know what i'm saying it's just you can't beat it with a stick guys seriously you cannot beat the mt this is your all-in-one bike right here this is a bike you could take to the track this is a bike you could cruise out here in the city with the awesome soundtrack and comfortable riding position it's a sport bike if you want to get cute in the twisties um it's not a drag racing bike of course um but it's not meant to be you know what i'm saying you wouldn't want this as your your drag racing bike that's why you get multiple bikes for different things you want to do that's why i'm thinking about adding a super bike because i want to get into track riding and have it as a and also every now and then ride it out here on the streets in the stretched out race position it's just for old young know, sometimes i like to mix it up and have a different bike so that's why i want to start collecting bikes and uh but honestly I, I honestly i feel like cruisers are at the bottom of my list i love them all i love all the motorcycles i have appreciation for all motorcycles but cruisers at the bottom of my list as far as in terms of you know for the value and the fun that you have um you're much better off getting like i said the mtl7 or mtl9 or whatever to be your cruiser out here man you know what i'm saying and uh it just depends on like i said it but to each his own if you want to go spend you know twenty thousand plus dollars on a new triumph rocket three <laughs> uh you know what i'm saying or the ducati x diablo or get your harley davidson for twenty thousand bucks or something and um to do less have less performance to have a more cumbersome motorcycle to move around to have uh uh you know less quality suspension for the most part um then hey like i said do what you want to do man but your best value best bang for your buck honestly is this, this mt lineup this mt lineup is the best street bike man i'll tell you for cruiser riders sport bike riders i'm telling you like i said you can even take this to the track man honestly i just think you get a better value with the naked bikes with especially the mt lineup of bikes and this has the th uh, cable throttle so you don't have the ride by wire throttle and the, all the crappy electric you know you don't need all that crap electronic rider aids and everything you don't need it man you know what i'm saying and um see here i look at that, throw my legs up like i'm on a harley davidson <laughs> i ride this thing like i'm on a harley davidson man now, i tell you this soundtrack yeah baby <laughs> hey, this car trying to cut in on me man what's up with these people i'm telling you that's why i don't like coming downtown too much because these drivers down here be acting a fool yeah baby and that's why i like this bike you know in the urban setting because it's lightweight you can throw it around it's less cumbersome than the cruisers especially in an urban setting like this and uh now you're not gonna probably i'm not gonna get the looks like i get would get on a harley davidson or something but most people care less about bikes but honestly this bike has got me a lot of attention every time i pull into a gas station people coming up and talking to me about it even people that don't ride this mtl7 is a looker baby but anyways guys leave a comment below hit thumbs up it really helps me when you do hit the subscribe button hit that little bell symbol so you get notified when my new videos comes out but i release new videos every sunday tuesday and thursday at 11 30 a.m eastern standard time so stay tuned for some more videos, baby. We out here downtown Cleveland, baby. Yeah. Check out my playlist for new riders and popular videos. Don't forget to comment and subscribe and check out my other channel, Bug Out Moto, where I customize a van for my motorcycle so I can live in my van with my motorcycle and travel across the country anywhere. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, Bug Out Moto.